Okay friends, now let's talk about the types of uh, adaptive immunity. Uh, there are basically two major types of uh, adaptive immunity or acquired immunity. The first one is active immunity. And the second one is passive immunity. Like the word active indicate it's a type of immunity in which your immune system is fully active. It is producing antibodies, it is producing cytotoxic T lymphocytes. So if your immune system is fully active and producing antibodies against the foreign invading pathogens, it means this is an active immunity. But if your immune system is not uh, producing any antibodies, in, uh, instead of this, your immune system is getting antibodies from some other host. I will explain with the examples. Like from other hosts, that will be called as passive immunity. So active immunity has two major types. The first one is natural active immunity and the second one is artificial uh, active immunity. Natural active immunity, like whenever uh, you get exposed to a pathogen or you get infected from a bacteria or virus, what will happen? Your antibody will, uh, your uh, immune system will start making antibodies against that particular foreign particle. So in this system, your immune system is active because it is making antibodies uh, by itself. So this is active and the process of infection is a natural. You have not been infected by a virus or bacteria intentionally or artificially. Obviously, so this was any infection is an example of uh, natural active immunity. Example of this key uh, infection. Similarly, artificial active immunity is a type of immunity in which your immune system is active. It is making antibodies, but uh, the exposure of the uh, foreign particle, the exposure of pathogens was not natural. For example, vaccination. What happened in the vaccination uh, innated, no, sorry, attenuated or weakened germs are injected into your body and your body will start making antibodies against that uh, weakened or uh, um, uh, dead particles. So in this system, you can say your body is making antibodies by itself against the dead or uh, weakened germs that have been injected into your body artificially, not naturally. So this is the example of uh, artificial active immuni uh, immunization or active uh, artificial active immunity that is vaccine. Okay. Now let's talk about the passive immunity. Passive immunity is a type of immunity in which your immune system is not making any antibodies. Instead, you are getting antibody from some other host. And there are also two major types. The first one is natural and second one is artificial for example uh, fetus in a placenta is getting immunity from the antibodies that are being made by the mother so now fetus is getting immunity from the antibody that are made by the mother so in it means fetus is not making antibodies by itself baby that is present in the placenta is not making antibody by itself. So this is a passive immunity because host is not making antibody by itself, but it is getting antibodies from some other host, mother. So this will be a passive immunity and this is a natural process. You cannot stop this. Okay. So uh, the transfer of antibodies from mother to fetus, the transfer of immunity from mother to fetus, fetus is basically a type of natural passive immunity uh, like uh, immunity from mother to fetus okay now passive immunity artificial like for example uh, recently you must have heard about the passive immunization treatment against coronavirus is going very successful throughout the world uh, and in pakistan as well so what is uh, what happened in this uh, treatment the antibodies from a healthy patient like a patient was infected with the coronavirus and get recovered after some days but it means the immune system of that particular uh, uh, person has made antibodies against the coronavirus 
So it means the antibodies will be present in the blood of that particular patient who has been recovered from the coronavirus infection. Now what will be do? Uh, the blood of that person will be taken and cellular part and plasma will be separated. And you know that in the plasma, uh, proteins are also present. So antibody is a protein, so it will be present in the plasma. Now, so what will be uh, done? That uh, separated plasma will be injected to a uh, diseased person, infect, infected of uh, the person who has been infected with the coronavirus. And now the plasma will be having antibodies against the coronavirus. Now, look, uh, what will be, with, uh, let's talk with uh, this point of view. It means the person who is getting antibodies directly is not making antibodies by itself. His immune system is not making antibody by itself. So this is a passive immunity. And the plasma you are uh, injecting into the into uh, that person is basically artificially. You have itself separated them and then injected uh, into the person. So it's not a, it's not a natural process. So this type of immunization will be called as artificial passive immunity. For example, injection of ant uh, antibodies. Injection of plasma containing antibodies. Okay, so these are the uh, four uh, types of uh, adaptive immunity. Uh, I'm very much sure that you will like this video. Please don't forget to like and uh, share this video and subscribe my channel. Also, don't forget to press the bell icon so that uh, you may get notification for the upcoming videos related to this very important topic immunity. Thank you so much.